thought that comes to mind is if I keep deferring tax, deferring tax, deferring tax, at what point can I even use the money? But I believe the way to think of it is you can use the cash flow coming off the investments. 100%. Mm -hmm. Are there other ways to kind of liquidate? And uh, so let's talk about that. You know, about 30% of our clients, they're going to take immediate cash flow from the trust right? Day one. We, let's see, I just closed the deal a last week for a client out of uh, Colorado. Um, and she's actually going to wait, I think about a year to take payments. Uh, I did another one in California and she's going to take payments right away. So there's no wrong answer here. You're just, pay, you'll pay tax on what you receive. So what's happening, and this is why it's legal, right? It's, it's an installment sale, by the way, if you're wondering, it's IRC 453, it's seller carry back. So if Jeffrey wanted to sell a building for 10 million bucks, you know, he had no basis and no debt, he could sell it on an installment to me. He could literally carry back 100% financing and then slowly take payments over time and pay interest on those payments. And then when he takes the full payment, he pay capital gains tax. So this is what we're doing here. We're just doing it with a trust and we're asking this new buyer to show up and put, bring the full 10 million and this trust will jump in right in between the transaction. And now that's an installment there. And then Jeffrey carries paper and essentially there's 10 million in the trust. And now as Jeffrey receives those payments, if it's interest, it's ordinary income, which you'll get a 1099, very simple. If you dip into principal, you'll pay some capital gains tax on that, on that given amount. So you can always take payments. The question is when? Now the other 70% of our clients, they actually just delay payments for about three or four years because their income is so high. And this is actually kind of cool if you think about it. Like an IRA, it's kind of like a 401k the deferred sales trust and that you parking it over here, you're not having to pay income tax because you haven't received any of the interest payments. Now the interest is compounding in the trust. It still owes it to you. It's building up just like an IRO or 401k. But until you start receiving payments, do you pay tax? If that makes sense, Jeffrey? Yep. Totally makes sense. You have just listened to another information packed episode of Capital Gains Tax Solutions with Brett Swartz. We hope you enjoyed today's show and found it helpful. Visit CapitalGainsTaxSolutions.com to access the show notes and to access more resources. Don't forget to leave a review and join us again next time.